Hello and welcome back to my channel. Stacy is back with their new album, Teen Fresh, and their new title track, A Bubble. We've checked out the highlight medley. The album already sounds awesome. Sounds real damn good, as all of their albums always are. And the title track, synth goodness on this title track uh, from what we heard. So let's just dive straight into it. If you want some extra content from them, if you want to listen to the album, we're going to be doing that over on Patreon. I just actually am uploading right after this some variety of them uh, that they posted of kids doing their makeup and things like that, as well as some stuff from Teddy Bear era. So let's go. Bubble. The visuals in this look wild. Oh yeah, it already starts wild. Production. Budget went up. It's so outlandish. Whoa. Danger beyond the blanket. Oh, that melody is so good. There's that sin. Is that one of the girls from the video I just mentioned? I said, oh. This video is a trip. The visuals. Zoom in looks great. I'm getting the vibe of this song already. That melody kills me. These visuals. The party scenes of this, the amount of people they got. The color looks strange there. They know their way around a solid ass melody every time. Oh my god, a Tom Brady jersey in my Stacy video, really? Okay, this is like bubble pop, but make it cute. This is let your freak flag fly, be yourself. Uh, it's okay to be different. They do this a lot in K-pop, for sure. That sentiment is always expressed, but not in quite a eclectic a uh, bold way with these colors and these visuals. So, so cool. It was like storybook on acid kind of thing. And I was, I was all for it. I liked it. The melodies kill that 808 line is so, so catchy. Let's listen to this over again. Cause honestly, it seemed like it ended right as it started. It went by very, very quickly. Visually so different from anything that they've done before. It almost feels like with this like bizarre CG, but it's not really meant to look like, you know, realistic or accurate. It feels like if you've ever seen some of those like really low grade CG movies that are aping real movies that have just released uh, like a DreamWorks film or something like that. Not saying a DreamWorks film, but trying to ape a DreamWorks film. It kind of feels like that. I kind of like it, that it is a high budget, but feels low budget. And this cast of all different types of people. 
crazy. It's like a wild Alice in Wonderland. Check it out now. Editing is top notch. Danger beyond the blanket. Yeah, it's like leaving your your safe space, your security, your comfort zone, and and expressing yourself. I like this angle. The video is edited, and the angles they choose are just as eclectic as the visuals. Such a clever line and also so catchy. Great melody. <laughs> Meanwhile, this long-legged hull monitor trying to stop them. <laughs> Bubbles are the circles. Are they trying to say like people's nagging people's words or, or critiques or comments kind of affect you like bubbles? Like they pop right out like they're they're nothing, they're meaningless, they're empty. Is that what they're trying to say by bubble? Well look at the cast here, so many people. I really feel like that looks like the girl from one of those Hello 82 videos. I don't know. But you, all kids kind of look the same to me at the end of the day sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> Their glasses. Everything here has so much personality. Yeah, she looks so great. Here they have her in some kind of like, they show this later, but with bubbles like on the ceiling as the roof of this room, but it almost feels like a, like a padded, a padded room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One giant conga line. She is a joker. Great transition into this pop-up book. That's where you get a bit of this fantasy feel too. One with a big ass castle. Yeah, there are the bubbles. But what is this? What does it say? Cause didn't they say arcade on them when we checked out the, the MD teaser? Yeah, it says Ar bubble arcade. This, this shot looks strange, right? I guess it's the type of camera they're using for the, this quick movement, but it looks so washed out and fuzzy. And then different. The editing and the way this is shot has to be just as quirky as the concept. I've mentioned this, but Subin with like this platinum hair, blonde hair, always revelation. Saying just let's loose. <laughs> I didn't realize that they had let loose at the end, too. Sorry, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, simple, like, idea, breaking constraints in some way. It's been repeated before, but in a Stacy catchy way. Uh, maybe, at the end of the day, not my, like, favorite title track of theirs, which uh, I think doesn't say much because I really love almost, I love all of them. Um, but there are bits of this song that are so damn, damn catchy. The 808 line, um, the, the whole pre-chorus is fantastic. The synth in the chorus is amazing. 
Uh, I think it will be definitely an earworm. And it's a concept that is something that it feels so right for them. Uh, but definitely budget just feels so much stronger here with all the different effects and how odd it feels. Some of it feels like some of the weird shit you would see in like a red velvet video at points. Uh, and I kind of appreciate that. I think their stages are going to go wild too for this. Probably have some really, really cool sets. And as we heard from what uh, was on the album for the highlight medley, I think the song I Want to Do sounds primed to be one of my favorite Stacey songs in a while. Um... It, it sounds so fantastic, so I can't wait to get to that. Please let me know what you guys thought of this song, uh, what you think of the album. I'm about to get to that over on Patreon. Uh, please join us. We've got some variety stuff over there for Stacey as well, past albums, live performances. So hopefully you join along. Thank you guys so much for checking this out with me. Subscribe if you are new. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Check out my Stacey playlist down below, and I will see you next time.